Welcome to a FS19 mod review on the Ravenport map. Today we will be taking a look at a variety of mods including a few sport cars, SUV, a few pickup trucks, flatbed truck, and a few placeable objects. All of the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we will be taking a look at the Lamborghini Aventador LP750. In the store it's located under the cars category. It has a price of $45,000 and it has 600 horsepower, only one color. When taking a close look here at the Lamborghini, you guys can see very nice gun. It's very low to the ground and I really do like this color as well. You can see the Lamborghini symbol there, a very nice a splitter up front, great looking headlights, some very big wheels with some low profile tires. Take a look at those brakes. Yes, they do have to be big to stop this car. Blacked out mirrors. We got carbon fiber a wing, uh, some vents, and some carbon fiber over the engine bay. Around back, we of quad exhaust with a blacked out diffuser. This thing, especially in this color, really stands out. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed 198 miles per hour. That's a pretty fast speed limit, but these cars are built to handle it. And I'm excited to have a Lamborghini here in FS19. All the lights do work very detailed as well. On the interior, we do have a full interior, working mirrors, working steering wheel, and take a look at this. A ton of detail was put into it, fire extinguisher, and the stitching in the seats. This thing looks awesome with all of the carbon fiber. Well done, a well-built mod. You guys can even see the seatbelt comes over. That is pretty cool. We'll take this here for a spin. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing a review. I do get lots of requests to do many of these and I try to do them when more mods come out. Now the acceleration of this car is pretty nice as well and uh, these are some great uh, supercars. I hope all of you guys are having a great day. Let me know how it is. Uh, I'm doing well today and hope all of you guys are as well. Overall one very nice Lamborghini. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a 1968 Dodge Dart. This looks to be kind of like a drag race car. In the store, it's located under the cars category. It has a starting price of $33,000. We'll first take a look here at the color changeable parts. You have the main color is color changeable, and then the roll cage on the inside is as well, which is nice. We have a few different hoods. We'll take a look at those. Hood 1, Hood 2. Hood 3 and back to that. Now here in the back you get no wing, a black wing, or a color matched wing. You could get the stock engine or the race tune or send it. When taking a closer look here at it, you guys can see very nicely done. I do like the roll cage in it. That looks awesome. Nice looking wheels here. I do like the uh, front end of this. Uh, very nice looking hood as well. And around back, you guys can see uh, very nice headlights as well. And overall, it looks amazing. Once we hop here on the inside, it has a top speed of 118 miles per hour. Now you could actually lower it if you guys would like. Lower the back, raise the front. That is pretty awesome, I will have to say. Probably for drag racing, this would probably happen right off the launch. And that's just awesome, and you can't really level it out. On the interior, we do have working gauges and a working steering wheel. One thing we do not have is working mirrors. This does not have mirrors. I noticed that when I first uh, bought this vehicle. That's interesting, I will have to say. Probably for aerodynamics, you don't want the mirrors. This has a very fast acceleration. That is awesome. Definitely meant for drag racing. And I really do like this a lot. And that roll cage, like I've touched upon, really uh, sets off the interior and makes it even that much more race type. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a BMW SUV. In the store, it's located under the cars category. It's a BMW X5M, $25,000, 300 horsepower. When taking a closer look here at it, very nicely done here. I really do like these uh, tires. It looks like sporty tires here with some great brakes. And this thing, I will say, looks awesome. And it does have a hitch here in the back. It does have the thing for the wires and quad exhaust. 
Top speed 198 miles per hour and all of the lights do work here on it. Very nicely done. And I'm excited to have an SUV here in the game as like a daily driver if we would like. On the interior here, we do have a full one. It looks like leather seats here. Very nice leather as well. And up front, this thing looks awesome. Just take a look at this working steering wheel, working mirrors, and just a ton, a ton of detail was put into this. This does have pretty realistic handling as well. One very nicely done vehicle. Up next we'll be taking a look here at a Ford Raptor Super Cab. This is a very nice truck. In the store it's located under the cars category. It has a starting price of $55,000. The only option here is it for to be color changeable and has 300 horsepower when taking a closer look here at it very nicely done here looks like we got chrome wheels here on it it is the super cab there isn't too many of these here in farming simulator super cabs there are a few crew cabs the super cab is a shorter wheelbase you guys can see it very nicely done here take a look at the wire and it looks like we have a hitch there and we got a bed line with straps and a gooseneck as well once we hop here on the inside top speed is 75 miles per hour and we do have a working tailgate there that's pretty awesome all of the lights do work that looks awesome up front having all of those lights on now it does have an interior camera view and you can see that there are seats here but it does need some work but like I've touched on I'm excited to have this Raptor here in the game one of the first in FS19 we had a few back in 17 now this does have the EcoBoost 3.5 liter, so we don't have the sound of the V8, but overall one very nicely done truck. Can't wait to uh, really enjoy this on some great trails. Up next we'll be taking a look here at a Ram Mega Cab. In the store it's located under the cars category, starting price at $25,000. Now let's see the main color here, we will set to red. The design color is a two-tone, so you can do two-tone or just match it once again. And you will do that. Stock bumper, uh, stock bumper with uh, the tow mirrors down. You could do uh, custom bumper, tow mirrors up. I really do like that custom bumper with tow mirrors down. I really do like that concept. You could do chrome, black. Uh, I really do like single wheels uh, or the dually, dually black or fuel wheels or even uh, wheels black. These are like just steelies that are rams. So I really do like all of those. And then the last one here is a 5.9 Cummins or the tuned or the 6.7 Cummins. When taking a closer look at this, very nicely done. Now I do have the chrome here. I really do like these wheels. Ram 3500. This thing looks nice here in the two-tone uh, bumper pull hitch and a toolbox here in the bed. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed 124 miles per hour. Looks like we do have some of the lights working here, which is great. And we do have the LED lights up front and an LED light bar. Wow, that's pretty cool. On the interior, we do have a very nice uh, steering wheel and a bit of detail as well and uh, this is a nice looking truck especially the uh, outside of it I really do like the option here on this truck for the tow mirrors up or down especially uh, if you want to tow it or just have them down it's nice to see more rams coming here into the game there's not too many of them Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a cab over a flatbed. In the store, it's located under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $180,000. Now, it is color changeable here with the rims. Now, you could actually get uh, it to be a little bit wider here for the platform and the ramp, which is helpful. And then you do have engine upgrades. When taking a closer look at it, very long truck, you guys can see this thing looks amazing, though. It will come in pretty handy, especially at some dealerships. So it looks like very nice uh, flatbed with ramps. Once we hop here on the inside, when you do press X, the ramps go down. And wow, that's awesome. 
and we'll take a look at the straps quite a lot of straps on the interior working steering wheel working gauges very similar to the in-game one overall one very nice truck up next we'll be going over to the open plot of land and we'll buy a few placeable <laughs> objects If you do have any cool video ideas here for any of these mods, please let me know down below here in the comments. If you guys would like me to add any of these to any of the series, let me know and I will uh, definitely look into doing it. In the store, we'll be taking a look here at a few placeable objects, including a new horse uh, paddock, which is nice, and it's a small one, but it will do. So we'll buy that, uh, $8,000 there for in miscellaneous. We do have a gas station here, which is great, and the last one we'll be taking a look at here is a vehicle shelter. We'll get that place. When taking a closer look here at the horse paddock, it's very small, but you guys can see it does have quite a bit of detail. Really do like the small size of it, especially only for like one horse. This is a small vehicle shelter. It's small, definitely, uh, com compared to probably what you would expect it to be. And then lastly, we do have this gas station over here, which I really do like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review here on the Ravenport map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more. Thank you.